This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. everyone welcome to Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield Frontier Regional tonight the Red Hawks take on the Golden Hawks of Hopkins Academy in a battle of two of the top teams in the Hampshire League my name is Jeff Terrell Chris Collins alongside our studio producer is Dave Reno great that you could join us tonight first place in the North Division the Frontier Red Hawks at 7 and 3 overall they're 4 and 0 perfect in the league so far and Hopkins Academy comes in with a 5-3 overall record. They are 3-1 in the league, but that is good for first place in the Southern Division. So it's number one north, number one south, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, mano a mano tonight here in South Deerfield, Chris. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be an interesting matchup. Hopkins definitely has a lot more size than they've had in recent years. I know they had that great run with Angelo Thomas where they went to the state championship, and they had a couple of lean years after that, but now it looks like they're back. They got some big bodies out there. And uh, this is going to be an interesting matchup tonight as Frontier uh, tries to stay unbeaten in league play. They played an independent game in this gymnasium last night against the Wakona Warriors out of Dalton, Mass. And they fell behind early, 18-3. to They ended up falling behind by 17 points in the second quarter. Made a great comeback, couldn't quite get all the way back. And they lose an independent matchup. And yeah, you I was saw actually here for that game. And I can tell you that there's no such thing as a bad loss. But if there is a bad loss, that was you know, a good loss, rather. That was a good loss. That was a very, very good Wakona basketball team. And what the stat sheet didn't show is the Frontier did not shoot foul shots very well. If they made half the foul shots they missed, they would have been right in that game. They came back and trimmed it to three in the fourth quarter. Just ran out of steam. But this Hopkins team, ironically enough, looks a lot like in size and skill like Wakona did. So this is going to be an interesting matchup at a lot of levels. I think they've got some big kids on Hopkins, but of course none bigger on the Frontier side than Peter Carey. 6'10", you just can't get that kind of height usually in Western Mass High School basketball anyway. Uh, we'll see if they can use that to their advantage. Hopkins does have some height, but that's, that's height that you just can't uh, really count on. 6'10". Peter Carey, looking forward to seeing him play. On uh, the other end of the physical spectrum, we got Andrew Siaglo, and he's been part of this program since an eighth grader, back when they were still going to state semifinal games. He made his mark on the program uh, when he was still an eighth grader, and now it's, uh, it's amazing. He is still just a sophomore. 5'8", so he's grown some, and he's one of the better ball handlers, one of the better shooters in the perimeter in the Hampshire League. They love to shoot threes, and that's the thing that I think Frontier's going to have to do. They're going to have to come jump out on the three, to deny that, and they're going to have to make some threes themselves. They missed a lot of shots last night for three-point land. You could see a lot of outside shooting tonight, and Frontier's got to defend that. All right, Frontier and Hopkins Academy, the Battle of the Hawks, the Red Hawks and the Golden Hawks. A nice crowd filing in here to the gymnasium here at Goodno Gymnasium. We're going to take a timeout here on our pregame show. We'll come back. We'll get you a set. Starting lineups, national anthem, opening tip-off. Frontier, Hopkins, next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. 
Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Golden Hawks from Hopkins Academy. The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now, for tonight's starting lineups, for Hopkins at guard, number three, Andrew Siaglo. At guard, number four, Colin Earl. At center, number 13, Braden Children. At forward, number 14, Addison Pfeiffer. At forward, number 24, Ryan Antes. Hopkins is coached by Adam Ginsberg. Now for Frontier at guard, number one, Ethan Mashan. At guard, number 11, Brett Robinson. At center, number 21, Owen Wachowicz. At forward, number four, Donovan Hoffman. At forward, number 13, Peter Carey. Frontier is coached by Ben Barshevsky. The officials for tonight's game are Corey Dion and Billy Joe Robido. Would you please rise for our national anthem? I always like when these teams get together, the geography, it's sort of the same, similar to when Frontier plays Smith Academy, of course, Smith Academy in Hatfield, right down the road from Waitley, the southern part of the uh, Frontier District, and right down the road from Sunderland, part of the Frontier District, is Hadley, which is the home of Hopkins Academy. So very close geographically, longtime rivals. A lot of these guys know each other. They know each other well. But tonight, basketball battle. And very passionate fan bases in all those communities. Yep. And I get to spend a lot of time down here with my full-time job, and I gotta tell you, it's, it's one of the nicest places in Massachusetts. Good people and great, just beautiful scenery and great basketball, great sports. Visiting Golden Hawks in the visiting gold uniforms with the navy blue. Frontier in their home white with navy and crimson red. And we've got 30 minutes, 32 minutes of basketball batter. Peter Carey, jumping center against Addison Pfeiffer. Eight minute quarters, 30 second shot clock. Corey Dion working along with Billy Joe Robito. That's our officiating crew. Tip ends up in the backcourt, picked up by Hopkins Academy. Andrew Siaglo brings it up. Throws on the right side to Earl. Colin Earl back to Siaglo. Man to man defense right now for the Red Hawks. Top of the key is Earl. Goes right of the lane, a offensive foul. He used his arm to push off. That foul actually is going to go against number 24, Ryan Antes. That was away from the ball. An Earl, Siaglo, and a Tudrin in the lineup for Hopkins. Yeah. Names you hear a lot generationally in this area. Absolutely. So now Frontier's first possession of the night. Ethan Mashon into the front court. Top of the key against a 2-1-2 zone. Wachowicz has it. His pass is batted down by Hopkins Academy's Siaglo. Earl brings it up. They go to the top of the key. It's Earl. Now he will back it up just a little bit. This is Braden Tudrin being guarded there by Donovan Hoffman. Shot clock down to 12. Antes between the circles. Picks up the dribble. Throws on the right side to Siaglo. Gets a screen. Andrew Siaglo kicks it left side. Tudrin. To the line, to the lane, his floater gets the nice bounce. Nice move. Two nothing, Hopkins Academy. Frontier now comes back quickly, Michon. Deep on the right side to Robinson. Michon has it on the right wing. Tries to penetrate, can't do so. Skip pass left side, Robinson. Touch pass over 
to Donovan Hoffman. Shot clock running down to 15. Robinson open for three from the right side. That's no good. Loose ball on the floor, batted down. It comes down to Walkowitz, banks it in. Right place at the right time. Walkowitz has become a legit post player. They're tied at two. Colin Earl sealed off by Robinson on the right baseline. They work it back up top. Siaglo, top of the key. Puts it to the floor, Brayden Tudrin. They go back to Ryan Antis, being guarded by Peter Carey. On the right side, Siaglo, shot clock at 10. Get it over. This is gonna be Pfeiffer with a three. Front rim no good, Robinson gets the rebound. Donovan Hoffman, his first touch, has it on the right side. He's had a big year. Walkowitz at a high post down low. Peter Carey, 12 foot jumper from the right baseline is no good. Battling for the rebound, whistle foul. That's going to go against Frontier. I think it's either Walkowitz or Carey. It's it is, Carey. It's on Peter, his first, first team foul. Two minutes in. And a 2-2 tie. Siaglo. It's a screen for Madison Pfeiffer. Picks up the dribble, top of the key. There was a pass nearly picked up. Braden Tudrin can't penetrate. Sealed off, gets it back. Shot clock down to 10. A block by Michon on a attempted three-point shot by Siaglo. Donovan Hoppin will lose the handle. Shuffle pass comes down. Here comes Earl, coast to coast. Lays it up high off the glass. Too strong, no good. Another rebound by Robinson. Long pass to Peter Carey on the right side. Tried to feed the paint to Wachowicz. That pass gets picked off. On the right side, Israel has it on the wing. Back to Braden Tudrin. Passes left side to Siaglo. Siaglo, left elbow. Jumper for three is no good. Deep rebound comes. Tipped out to Donovan Hoffman. Hoffman will take it across himself. Into the front court Ooh. right. Got nearly traveled there, but... Was able to contain oh. himself, and now the pass ends up in the back. What a great save by Michon, nearly a backcourt violation after a very poor pass. Hoffman has it on the right side. Shot clock is at 10. Donovan Hoffman, and he's going to get called for a travel. A little bit of a ragged play, possibly some uh, leftovers from last night. They, they left it all on the floor last night, but what a play by Michon. Ethan Michon is really just athletically an amazing ball player. Great point guard. He made a couple of great plays last night, just made another one. Aiden Mahala checks in for the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks. Sitting down is Ryan Antes. Siaglo deep on the left side. Michon right in his jersey. Gets a screen from Mahalik. Double team. Mahalik top of the key. Wide open three. Book it. 5-2 Hopkins. 4-25 to play here in the opening quarter. Ethan Michon takes it across the left side. Bounce pass deep. Robinson back to Michon. Now they'll work it to the right. Hoffman out deep. They get it down low to Peter Carey, right block, went for the bank, no good. Wachowicz, the put back, tipped away, no good. Robinson, they get it back down to Carey, shot clock down to 10. As they've never touched the iron, the ball goes out of bounds, it'll stay with the Red Hawks, but only eight seconds to shoot. Well defended by Mahalik on Peter Carey there. He's not giving Peter much room to move. And Frontier's gonna sub. Colin Boudreaux is into the lineup, and so is Sean Richter. Boudreaux has it deep on the right side. Shot clock at six. Richter for three. Top of the key. Back rim no good. Skying for the rebound. Addison Pfeiffer. Here comes Siaglo to the line, to the lane. Dipsy to dry. Puts it up and in. Now what a play by Siaglo. He is such a ball player. 7-2 Hopkins. Richter pulls out a high pass on the left side. Swings it over on the right side. Coming all the way through. And a foul down low as Donovan Hoppen was going right baseline. He'll go to the line for two free throws here. Well, we have said a number of times, Donovan Hoffman very much the heart and soul of this team. First free throw is up, and it is no good. That was the first personal foul called against Braden Tudrin, and he will now check out. And Feltovic will replace him in the Hopkins lineup. Frontier missed a lot of foul shots last night against Wakona. Could have been the difference in the game. Hoffman sights the second, that one in and out, no good. And we have a lane violation, and that's gonna be called against uh, Jack Feltovic. So one more free throw here for Donovan Hoffman. 7-2 in favor of Hopkins. And will the third time be the charm? No, missed that one as well, wow. Three misses consecutively, we're, we're not even helped by that lane violation. 
Frontier getting set to sub again. And Eski is getting set to come into the lineup. Siaglo. Beltovic hands it back to Andrew Siaglo. Poked away by Hoffman. Dipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Hopkins. Only 10 seconds now to shoot. Haneski in for Donovan Hoffman. Off to a slow start. All right. Shot clock is down to seven. Not a lot of time here. Not a lot of urgency here. Fiddle and diddling. Three seconds, two. And they're not going to get a shot away. Boy, Chris, I was stunned. There was absolutely no urgency to get the ball worked in, in, in towards the bucket. Either Chaglo was very confident he would get a shot off, or he didn't, wasn't really aware how little time there was. The bench was yelling to him, but he just didn't, didn't really move. 30-second shot clock violation. Coming down to the three-minute mark here in the quarter. 7-2 in favor of Hopkins. Tipped away. Nice job there by Mahalik. Shuffle pass. Earl banked in. That's how you got to defend Peter Carey is make him uncomfortable. And that time Mahalik did that. The lead is now seven. So for a second consecutive night, Frontier off to a slow start here in the first quarter. They scored three points in the first quarter last night against Wakona. Ethan Mashan, he's going to take a rainbow three. That is in and out, no good. Rebound pulled down by Addison Pfeiffer. Siaglo, left side, blows right by everybody. A little wraparound pass to the Hollick, wasn't ready for it. Aiden, though, gets it back to Earl for three, good! Yeah, I think time to tuck it over, I think. Timeout, Frontier will take the break. 2.22 to play here in the opening quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Hopkins Academy 12, Frontier 2. Back after this on Bear Country 95.3. Well, for you, Chris, who was here last night, and for the fans that were here last night, this is, uh, this is deja vu all over again. The only difference is the opposing team is not the Warriors in blue and white, but the Golden Hawks in Golden Navy. I mean, it's, it's almost the exact same thing. Yeah, this is like a rerun of a bad B movie. And I, I don't know what the situation, what the problem is, but you know, Frontier's moving the ball well, but they're just getting outscored, and they're not making the free throws. Same situation as last night, struggling from beyond the arc and struggling at the line. Ethan Mashon has it on the left side. That's going to be a kick on Earl, so they will reset the shot clock. Frontier will inbound right in front of us with Ethan Mashon. Gets it into Haneski. Has it between the circles, takes it right side, bounce pass on the right side to Richter. Richter, Haneski, top of the key. Fakes to three, coming through. Looking away on the left, loose ball picked up by Siaglo. Andrew doesn't have the numbers, pulls it back, a deep three, and that shot is in and out, no good. Rebound pulled down by Colin Boudreaux. Coming across is Michon, Hineski on the left elbow, cuts into the paint, gets it down low to Carey for the jam. Well, that's what you need to do more of. 12-4 in favor of Hopkins. Minute and a half to play here in the opening quarter. Siaglo, top of the key, working on Mashan, stops. And the foul line got his man up in the air, no foul call. Nice pass, Mahalik over to Mashan. Uh, Mashan nearly came up the seal, I should say. Shot is no good, Mashan the rebound. Loops a pass up ahead on the right side to Hadeski. Montier can now edge a little bit closer. Mashan out near the center court circle. They work it on the right side, Peter Carey. Colin Boudreaux, foul line, they get it right down low, and Peter Carey, no good, but a foul. And they got Aiden Mahalik on that one. That's a nice little give and go. They've worked that a couple of times their last few games. They stick carry out in the elbow, they feed the paint, and then they jam it to him on the baseline, and he draws the foul or gets the bucket. Two free throws for Peter Carey. First one is on the way, and it is good. Makes it 12-5. Makes one more here. It'll be a two-possession game. So perhaps the Red Hawks have weathered the storm here. Second free throw, though, is no good. So Hopkins' lead is seven. It's 12-5. Exactly one minute to play here in the first quarter. Siaglo, between the circles, takes it to the left side, hands to Earl. Colin, top of the key. Back to Siaglo, left side. Comes all the way through. Throws up a runner in the air. It's good and a foul. And he went down hard, grimacing in pain. 
But the only way that was going to go is if he really put an arc on it, and he did. Well, he went up against a 6'10", Peter Carey, who fell on him after the fact. At 6'10 versus 5'8". Right. He's literally a foot and two inches taller. Seattle won that battle, and Carey's out of the game with two fouls. 14-5, the lead can now go back to 10 with a make here by Siaglo. It's in the air, it is good. 15-5, Hopkins Academy. 50.7 seconds left. Mineski takes it across the timeline, angling towards the right, Richter. They dump it down low, Boudreaux. Wachowicz in the paint, goes up, and that is blocked. Nice defense down there by Addison Pfeiffer. Here comes Earl back the other way. Calling those sealed off by Donovan Hoffman who just snuck back into the game and a traveling call on Addison Pfeiffer as he shuffled his feet trying to drive. 31.4 seconds left. So the shot clock and the game clock pretty much in unison. On the right side, Hoffman on the wing. Wachowicz from the foul line. Throws a pass, Hineski, gotta go left corner. Richter, a three ball, good. Buried that one. 15-8 now, shot clock off. 14 seconds left here in the quarter. First quarter has been dominated by Hopkins Academy. Colin Earl, top of the key. He's gonna launch a three. Banks it in. Banks it off of a weave, wow. And that's how the first quarter will end. End of one here, Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield and our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks 18, the Frontier Red Hawks eight. Second quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Well, Frontier, you're not going to win any basketball games against good teams scoring eight points in a quarter. They've got to get the scoring. They've got to get the shooting underway. But they, the Hopkins Academy Hawks are the real deal. There's a reason why these guys are tops in the South. They are a good ball club. Well, Chris, it just seems like Frontier's offense, very disjointed. They're, they're, they're not really running with a good flow at this point. Maybe they'll get it going here, but yeah, this does not seem like the Frontier team that I saw against Griffith. You see them a lot more than I do, but I thought they ran their offense really well against the Green Wave. They beat a very good Greenfield team. Let's see if they can get it going now. And Asky at the foul line, wraparound pass to Wachowicz. Back to Robinson, shot clock down to 15. And Eski, top of the key. Robinson, they go right corner now. Donovan Hoffman, Wachowicz, going right baseline, loses it on the baseline. Three second violation on Frontier. We're going the other way. Part of their offensive struggle, I mean, we, we have to credit Hopkins. I mean, they're doing a great job. They're defending very well. Josiah Beck just checked in. He has the basketball right now at the center court circle. Gets it over to Colin Earl. And now, great defense there by Wachowicz provoking a turnover. And maybe that'll get the Hawks going Well, here. that's the other thing. They, Haw the Hawks have to defend better. And they haven't been pressing. And they didn't press all night against Makona last night either. Wachowicz down low. Boudreaux goes for reverse lay-in, poked away. But a steal by Hineski as Hopkins was ready to break the other way. Hineski gets to Robinson. Donovan Hoffman fakes the three. And pass is tipped out of bounds off of Hopkins Academy. And they're going to sub. They're going to get Siaglo back in. And uh, Tyler Verdi will check in for his first minutes. Hopkins by 10, 18-8. A minute into the second quarter. That pass is batted down by Siaglo. Andrew comes all the way through. Bank shot as he was falling down was way too strong. A lot of contact. And no foul call. 
Donovan Hoffman all the way through. Scoop shot, no good. Wachowicz the rebound, gets it back to Hoffman. They'll reset the offense now. Colin Boudreau, top of the key. They get it back, Hoffman, right elbow three. That is no good, their perimeter struggles continue. One and done. Siaglo, jump pass, left side Addison Pfeiffer. Feltovic has it deep on the left. That ball is tipped out of bounds off the of frontier. Ethan Mashon back in for the Frontier Red Hawks and checking in for the Golden Hawks is uh, Jack Zena. Coming through the jumper, Siaglo no good off the front rim, but he got bumped into. And Ethan Mashon will get the ticket. And two free throws now coming up for Andrew Siaglo. That was the first personal foul called against Mashon. Well, Siaglo also had uh, Boudreau swooping in on him, so he's got He's got hammer and tong with the big two yeah. for uh, Frontier. First free throw by Siaglo is good. Makes it 19 to 8. That kid's only a sophomore. Yeah. I mean, it's been playing since his eighth grade year. Just amazing. And that was the tail end of the great run. Not looking like a sophomore. All right. 6.15 to play here in the half. They get it down low, Colin Boudreaux on the right side. He's going to go baseline, and they're going to get him with a travel. And we're going the other way. I don't know why that reverse layup is such a, a – I don't know why he does that all the time, but took an extra step because of it. They loop a pass up ahead. Faltovic takes it down. Top of the key, Addison Pfeiffer is going to take a three. Does not get the bounce. Colin Boudreaux the rebound. That led on the right to Michon. Frontier looks to run. Michon into the front court, right side. Had it batted down and away. Nice steal there by Verdi. Oh, boy. Hopkins came to play. Question is, is Frontier going to play tonight? Are they going to match that intensity? That's a kick on Robinson, so they're going to reset the shot clock. It'll be Hopkins' ball. Golden Hawks lead by 12 right now. No points. It's about two minutes to go in the first quarter for Frontier. That's not good. Right now, head coach Ben Barshevsky is uh, talking to his assistants. They're going to try to figure this out here. Nice ball movement by the Golden Hawks right now. Deep on the left side is Siaglo. Skip pass Whoa. on the right side. Oh, two <laughs> Feltovic and Verdi were looking at each other. They each thought the pass was going to the other guy, and it goes out of bounds. <laughs> you don't ever see that usually. <laughs> That's rare, but that was interesting. It went right between them, and they kind of looked. They went, oh, I thought you were going to get it. And the other guy said, I thought you were. No one got it. All right, well, so Frontier. Fan, fan in the front row got it. Frontier catches a break. Donovan Hoffman, deep on the right side. Gets a screen, takes it in the right corner. Colin Boudreau, top of the key. Nice pass, Wachowicz. Boudreau couldn't finish from the left side, though. He actually tried to shoot with his right hand from the left side. If he had gone lefty, that may have dropped. And Frontier still has not scored here in the second quarter. Hopkins has only scored two points. Make it four now as Siaglo drives the lane and puts up a little bunny. 22-8, a 14-point lead. And Ben Barshevsky has to burn another timeout. Chris is shaking his head. Frontier fans, likewise, will step aside for a 30-second break. 4.43 to play here in the first half. Hopkins Academy, 22, Frontier 8 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Nielus Nifty, Nifty. He should be forced to pay double for this spot. It's so bad. <laughs> we'll take it with music for a billboard. And are we ready for an ID yet? No. Tonight's game is being brought to you by Matusco Trailer Repair, Nardowich Tree Service, the Gilwandigo Regional School, and by CarQuest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne. Not going well. Now, you know, Frontier last night in the second quarter woke up and started scoring points. They have not woken up at all in this quarter. It's starting to get away from them. And uh, Andrew Siago and the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks are pretty much having their way right now. And we forget now Greenfield, I believe, got out 6 nothing down yep. here. I mean, that's not that big of a deal, but it just, it's just, it's a pattern. 
that needs to change. Robinson, deep on the left. Wachowicz in the corner. They swing it around the perimeter. Richter with a jumper from the free throw line, no good. Tip follow is good by Robinson. Nice job by Robinson to be there for that uh, extra shot. And finally, three minutes and 40 seconds into the quarter, their first points of the second. On the right side, a travel. They tried to set a screen. Addison Pfeiffer shuffled his feet, and Frontier now will get the ball back. Frontier also does not look like they're really in sync on defense. They aren't really aggressive. Haven't been as aggressive as they normally do. And defense often spurs offense with this team, and they got to get that defense going. Addison Pfeiffer just uh, checked out for the Frontier, uh, for the uh, Golden Hawks of Hopkins Academy. Haneski has it on the right side. He's double teamed there. Picks up the dribble, looking for some help. Dumps it down low. Walkowitz got it and went up really strong and scored. He's great on the baseline lately. Walkowitz has really been a bright spot for this team inside. 4-0 run for Frontier. They're back to within 10 now. That was the deficit at the end of the first, 18-8. Deep three, way out there, and that's an air ball by Siaglo. Running it up quickly is Richter. Haneski near the center court circle. Takes it now between the circles. Bounce pass left wing. Donovan Hoffman into the paint, sealed off there. Quick passes, jump pass, that's tipped away out of bounds. It'll stay with, nope, nope. It is it off, off of here. Yep. So it's going to be Hopkins Academy Basketball. Checking out is Jack Zena. And Mahalik will throw in. Aiden gets it into Andrew Siaglo. Throws up ahead to Braden Tudrin. Mahalik has a deep left side in the corner to Earl. Back to Mahalik. He squares up for three. That's an air ball. That was way off. And he knew it. He tried to fill the lane to get the rebound, but didn't hit anything. He had no chance at the rebound. Deep on the left side. Richter for three. In and out. No good. Tip down. It comes to Siaglo. Andrew will run it a half. Run it across. Into the front court. Top of the key. Jump pass. Coming through Tudrin. Back to Siaglo. He's going to go baseline. <laughs> Dribbles all the way into the left corner. Shot clock down to 15, and we have a reach and foul called against the Red Hawks. It's going to be on Haneski, but it's pretty obvious that this offense is running through Siaglo. Yep. He's doing the lion's share of the ball handling. He just ran through everybody down the baseline. Nobody touched him. Boudreau in. Wachowicz out for Frontier. That's the first personal foul called against Haneski. The fourth team foul on Frontier, so... No one shooting just yet. Greg Tudrin, bounce pass right side to Mahalik. Throws over on left side. Here comes Siaglo again. Over to Earl, Colin Earl. Shot clock at 15. Siaglo, up fakes. Keeps the dribble going. Ricky dribbles, and they got him with a travel. That was a lot of, uh, a lot of effort for nothing. No, sh no shot attempt there. Well, Haneski's doing exactly what he should do on Siaglo. He's not letting them anywhere, any kind of daylight whatsoever. He's right in his shirt. You've got to be right on that kid. Feltovic and uh, Pfeiffer getting set to check in, and Colin Boudreaux goes right baseline. Couldn't get the ball to go, but that's going to be a foul. I believe the guy getting the ticket is going to be Ryan Antes. It is. That's his second. He just got back into the game. He might be coming right back out again. Colin Boudreaux will shoot two free throws here. Our halftime report is coming up. We'll preview Greenfield Turners coming up on Thursday night. Keep in mind, Peter Carey still on the bench with two fouls. And coming to the bench with two fouls is Ryan Antis. He's getting uh, some guidance from head coach Adam Ginsburg. One more for Colin Boudreaux. It's in the air. That one is good, so he makes one of two. And Frontier now back to within nine. They've trailed by as many as 14 here in the first half. It's 22-13. Deep three on the right side. That is no good by Earl. Hopkins has gone cold here. Yeah, they've gone very cold. It's easy to go cold in this gym. It is really <laughs> cold in here tonight. Not Messer Jim cold of a couple of weeks ago, but cold enough. Down low to Boudreau, goes up. Oh, misses it, but got his own rebound and banked it home. Good job by Colin to stay with it. Hopkins wants to talk about it. Adam Ginsburg, it's getting away. The lead is down to seven. We will take a break. 1.48 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Hopkins Academy 22, Frontier 15, Bear Country 95.3. We'll have a night off tomorrow night, but back with you on Thursday as we bring you Turner's Falls at Greenfield in a boys matchup. 
another rivalry game. We had the rivalry double dip in orange last night. By the way, you were right, Chris. You have a you have history over there doing that game uh, for a long time. The girl boy double header, and uh, yeah, Bobby C and I. You said we'd have fun, and we did. It's a it's a great environment, and they love their teams over there. And it's a really strong sports area. Neither game was particularly competitive, but it almost didn't matter. Didn't matter. Still a lot of fun. Big crowd. And you saw some good basketball players on both sides. Pfeiffer, that sealed off. Shot clock down to six. What a mess this possession is. And now finally a three is put up by Earl as the shot clock was about to expire. No good. Frontier can get a little closer now. That's the Frontier D I've been looking for. They dump it down low. Strong power move. Boudreaux puts it up and in. Count it and one. Colin Boudreaux giving some solid minutes off the bench. He did so last night too. And that was just a straight power move around three different Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks and a chance to make this a four-point lead. Mahalik is going to check back in and sitting down will be Feltovic. That was the first foul, by the way, on Pfeiffer. First on Addison Pfeiffer. And a chance at a three-point play. That free throw, though, is no good. So Frontier's struggles continue there. But they're now back to within five. And a quick release, jumper, left side, no good by Earl Hopkins. They got a cap on the basket down there. They've only scored four points in this quarter. Nice give and go, and finishing down low. Donovan Hopkins. Here come the Red Hawks. One possession game. Earl gets it down low to Mahalik, through his hands, out of bounds. Hopkins has completely, I mean, as well as they were running their offense in the first quarter, they've been miserable here in the second. Both coaches are going to have a lot to talk about with their kids at halftime, which is 33 seconds away now. On the right side, Robinson for three. Ooh. In and out, no good. Siaglo, the rebound, loses it, picks it back up and heads down court. Now, Hopkins needs to run their offense. Shot clock is off. They can hold for one shot if they want, but more importantly, they need to actually run a real offense and get a good shot away because it has been a mess the last few minutes. Earl backs it out. Siaglo on the left. A little give and go. Siaglo for three. Nope. That shot is no good. And that'll do it. Great second quarter for Frontier. They outscore Hopkins 11 to 4. And they are back to within three at intermission. Halftime here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. And our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard Hopkins Academy 22, Frontier 19. The Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. We're at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield tonight. And the Frontier Red Hawks trailing the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks by a score of 22-19. to 19. Hopkins got out to a big lead. They led by as many as 14 at one point, but... They just kind of fell apart, Chris, the last half of that second quarter. They only scored four points in the quarter in total. And uh, Frontier, give them credit. I mean, they couldn't get out of their own way in the first quarter. They're right back in it. Well, I think the difference is Frontier's defense stepped up in that second quarter, and they made things more. I mean, Hopkins was running around in the first quarter doing pretty much whatever they wanted. And the Frontier defense, this team, historically, their defense is what spurs everything else. If they're playing tough D, the offense will come. And in the first quarter, like the first quarter last night against Wakona, they just didn't play very good defense, and they got into a hole. Now they've come back. The defense spurs the offense, and you see a three-point uh, deficit. 
And offensively, they were finally able to run some really good offensive sets and get get guys in position to score, whereas early on they were just kind of it was kind of chuck and duck. Well, having the addition of Colin Boudreau in there, along with Walkowitz and Carey, they're rarely on the floor all at the same time, but they've got that give and go move that's working really well for them. The outside shooting has not been there. Brett Robinson's very frustrated, I'm sure. Yeah. He's got one field goal, but he took a couple of three-pointers. It's just not falling for him. Sean Richter's had a little bit more success with the three. But a lot of these guys can shoot the three. It just hasn't really been working. And Donovan Hoffman as well has been kind of stinking. But then the free throws have not been there. But the good news is they're still in this game. They were getting blown out of the building in the first quarter. But they're very much in this. This is anybody's game going into the second half. And a couple of guys for either side were, uh, were out there with two fouls. They picked up two early fouls. No one got their third before intermission. So we're going to start the second half with no one in, in real serious uh, danger of uh, having to miss a lot of minutes in the second half. But I'm surprised that Peter Carey's been on the bench as long. He was on the bench for almost that entire second quarter, which is unusual. But the combination of Walkowitz and Boudreaux has been working in the middle. So if you can rest him and bring him back strong in the third quarter, maybe get him in a situation where he can pound the ball inside, I think you're going to have maybe a little more success. But I do think that Frontier's defense is going to be crucial in this second half. If they don't play defense in the third quarter and Hopkins comes out and does it in the first quarter, it's going to be a long second half. 22-19 Hopkins Academy with the lead at halftime. And uh, who knows what's being said in the respective locker rooms. As, uh, as Chris and I were mentioning, late in that first half, Ben Barshevsky certainly has a lot to talk to his kids about. And Adam Ginsburg, likewise, in that Hopkins Academy locker room. We'll take a time out here on the Halftime Report. We will come back and we will preview Turner's Falls at Greenfield. It's coming up Thursday night. This is Bear Country 95.3. Frontier now back onto the court, going through their warm-ups for the second half. They trail by only three after trailing by 10 at the end of one, and they trail by as many as 14 at one point in that first half. Night off tomorrow night, and then on Thursday night, Bear Country back in action. We're going to be at Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School. Turner's follows at Greenfield in a boys game, and it would appear Angelo Thomas has the better club, the, the hotter hand certainly. But it is a rivalry game, and Turner's Falls, very inconsistent, but when they're on, very, very dangerous basketball team. And But the key is when they're on. I think that the more consistent play this year has come from Greenfield. Certainly, I think they've got the height advantage. Yep. I think that they've got uh, some good skill players. But like you said, you know, you almost throw the records out whenever Greenfield and Turner's plays in any sport. And this is certainly the case in basketball as well. Should be a lot of fun. You and Bobby are going to have a good time with that one. One of the issues for Turner's, obviously, they only uh, dress seven or eight guys, and a lot of times they have trouble finishing. I mean, they do, they'll do a really good job for three, three and a half quarters, but taking it all the way to the finish line can be problematic, and then there's no wiggle room. Anthony Peterson, I mean, he has got to stay out of foul trouble, and Chase Novak, I mean, if his shots are falling, Turner's Falls definitely could sneak in there and get a big road win against Greenfield. That'll be a seven o'clock tip-off on Thursday night, Pre-game coverage begins right around 6.45 right here on Bear Country. We'll take one more timeout. We'll come back, get you set for the start of the second half. It is Hopkins leading Frontier by three. It's 22-19. This is Bear Country 95.3. Getting ready for the second half. Chris Collins, Jeff Terrell here at Goodell Gymnasium. Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks lead Frontier 22-19. Andrew Siago leads all players with nine points. Eight for Colin Earl, three for Aiden McCulloch, and two for Brent Braden Tudrin. Four the Frontier Redhawks. Five points for Colin Boudreaux, four for Owen Walkowitz, three for Sean Richter, three for Peter Carey, and two points each for Donovan Hoffman and Brett Robinson. 22-19 Hopkins as we begin the second half here. Frontier is going to come out with their original Starting five, except for Haneski. No, yeah, Haneski for Mashan, but four of the five starters will come out. One of these student athletes will receive the Helena Chemical Player of the Game honor and the t shirt that comes with that. You have the t shirt right here on the uh, table here in front of us. A couple of uh, student athletes from Maha Regional in Orange pick that up. So it will be Hopkins Academy basketball. <laughs> Look at that Donovan Hopkins smiling. He's trying to, trying to get possession of the ball to be in the second half. 
All right, Siagla will inbound right in front of us. We are set, third quarter action underway. We'll see what happens here. Brayden Tudrin has that at the top of the key. They throw right side to Siagla. Andrew looking to get it down low, can't do so. Takes it to the left wing, stops, pops for three. In and out, no good. Addison Pfeiffer, the rebound goes up strong and it's. Good job by Pfeiffer to be right there for that rebound. 24-19 Hopkins by five. 2-3 zone. And you can see a lot more energy now by both teams actually. Donovan Hoffman cuts through a triple team, puts it up no good, but the weak side of the rebound put up and in by Robinson. Yeah, Robinson right there at the rebound, turning into points. He has had a fine night so far, and if Donovan Hoffman can get on track, they'll really be in good shape. Coming through, Antis rejected. <laughs> We've seen that movie before. Like Antis. the praying mantis block. Yeah, just get that out of there. Peter Curry obviously on the block there. He's had uh, many, many blocks this season. Wide open. Pfeiffer hits again. He was left wide open on that inbounds play. A little too open there. Hopkins by five. 26-21 a minute in here in the third quarter. So Hopkins has already scored four points this quarter. Nearly thrown away. Nice save by Hopkins. They only scored uh, four points in the second in total. Three-pointer. Left side Robinson no good. Antis gets the rebound. Running it up quickly is Siaglo. Top of the key now, he'll back it out, call the set play. Pfeiffer's feeling it. Earl wide open for three, good! Oh boy. The Golden Hawks have woke it up. Halftime came at a good time because they could not get out of their own way there. And Frontier counter now, Robinson. Right corner to Hoffman. Donovan holding it over his head, takes it in. Sealed off, turns, fires, high off the window, no good. Tip follow up, good, and one. Rockowitz with the deuce. Well, the way Hopkins is defending the three right now, if Frontier wants to win this game, they're going to have to pound the ball inside. That's a perfect example. Hoppin denied the three, went up for the shot. Walkowitz right there for the rebound, count it, and one. Chance to make it a five-point game. Free throw, though, is no good. I'll tell you what, this free throw shooting, this is starting to get concerning. It's a bad scene. Siaglo throws on the left side to Braden Tudrin. They work it to the right to Earl. Now back to Tudrin on the left. Braden holds there. Pfeiffer gets it down low to Antis. Touch pass. Braden Tudrin right of the lane. Frontier though locking down. Shot clock down to six. Great D by the Red Hawks. They go left side. Pfeiffer's going to take a three. That's an air ball. No good. And uh, would have been a 30 second shot clock violation, but Frontier maintains possession. Peter Carey on the left side, jump pass into the left corner. Robinson hits again. That's what you got to do. Pound the ball down low, use the baseline, use the whole court. On the right side, Earl wide open for three. That is no good. Carey the rebound, oh, loose nice. ball. It ends up in the hands of Antis. That was not a good play by Peter. Tudrin fakes the three, gets it back, puts up a shot over Carey, no good. Tip follow, no good by Antis, but he got fouled by Donovan Hoffman. Yep, Hoffman went over the back on that one, tried to block him out, and got uh, a little too much contact. That's a big dude right there. And Ryan Antis, 6'4", yeah. and it looking like about 190. Looks like Paul Bunyan out there. He's huge. First personal foul on Donovan Hoffman. That was the first team foul on Frontier here in the second half. First free throw, no good. Second one around the rim and in. And they're going to sub real quick. And they're going to get Eric Berg into the lineup. Eric Berg. I've been waiting all night to say that name. Yes. <laughs> and also checking in is uh, Waldron. Ooh, Waldron, nope. backcourt violation. It was close, but yeah. No, Maneski no. did have one foot in the backcourt. Not really as close as you think. Yeah. But yeah. That's, and again, that was the first time Hopkins has used the press, and it worked. Golden Hawks lead by five. Waldron has it deep on the right. This is Siaglo, top of the key. Pfeiffer traveling as he shuffled his feet. Well, that time Frontier doubled on Siaglo and left it for Pfeiffer. Who Pfeiffer had a clean look to the basket and just took the extra step, shuffled the foot. Hoffman in the backcourt throws it up to Robinson, who's been huge tonight, Wachowicz. Made that big play a moment ago. Hineski top of the key. Plenty of time on the shot clock. 
They get it down low. Peter Curry on the right block. Double team. Neski works it left side. Robinson for three. That is good. B Rob is hot. He needed that. He's having a tough time shooting from three point land. 30 to 28, nearly a steal. Frontier now trailing only by two. And still to us, that shot was no good, but a rebound by Pfeiffer. Last court pass, nearly picked away by Robinson. Siaglo with a deep three, that is no good. And a whistle and a foul on Berg as he filled the lane, trying to get that rebound. They're gonna get him with the personal foul. Non-shooting, but That's Frontier can get their first lead here. They can score. Robinson will inbound. He has been the guy, no question, tonight. For Frontier, without him, they're down by double digits still. Peter Carey gets it up to Robinson on the right side, pulls it down. Nice pass over to Walkowitz. Back to Robinson, top of the key, Hineski. Dumps it down low, Walkowitz. Tried to dish it over to Peter Carey, tipped away. Walkowitz though gets it back. Hoffman reverse lay and rejected. Donovan got it back, shot clock down to eight. No time. Peter Carey, muscling his way through, loses the handle. Two seconds, one, shot clock violation. And we're going the other way. Good D by Hopkins, but Frontier did everything but get a shot off. <laughs> Everybody got a touch of the ball, they could not, could not pull the trigger. Tudrin in, Waldron out for Hopkins. We have 3.44 to play here in the third. And after leading by as many as 14 points, well, in Waldron came in and ran. that was two. a very effective press that they ran. They, they should think about doing more of that. Frontier has not pressed really much tonight. Mahalik just checked back in. Braden Tudrin in the backcourt. Gets it over to Siaglo. Andrew brings it across. Passes to Mahalik between the circles. Left side pass, Tudrin. Back between the circles. Went through is Tudrin. To the line, to the lane. Right side, Mahalik back. Wide open three by Earl. That is good. Can't leave that guy that open. Not a good move. Car Colin Earl with the tray. And Hopkins lead now back up to five. So Frontier, they're keeping it close, but they have not been able to get it all the way back. Much like last night. Robinson. Left side, Donovan Hoffman gives up the three. He'll go baseline, gets it into Wachowicz, the cutter. Oh, spun out, no good. Mahalik gets the rebound. Oh, that was a squander. Tough break. Good there, passing. Yeah. They did a good job of getting the shot they wanted. It just rimmed out on him. Earl hit the three a moment ago. Gets it over to Brayton to trim back. Whoa. An NBA three put up. No good by Siaglo. Rebound gets tipped back to Andrew. Zips a pass over to Earl. Earl runs right into Donovan Hoffman. Hopkins leads by five, down to 2.30 to play here in the third quarter in South Deerfield. Two top teams in the league. That pass is batted down. Frontier now back on the attack. Haneski gets it over, right side. Hoffman has it on the wing. Tried to dump it down low, tipped away by Mahalik. Here comes Siaglo in amongst the timber. He got stripped of the ball by Hoffman out of bounds. It'll stay with Hopkins Academy. If you're gonna feed the paint against these guys, you better know what you're doing. And that last couple times, Frontier's tried to feed the paint, and Hopkins has defended it well. They clogged the middle very, very well. Richter and Boudreaux in. Hoffman and Wachowicz will check out for the Red Hawks. Golden Hawks with the ball. They lead by five. And we have a foul away from the ball inside that's going to go against Hopkins Academy. So Frontier will get the ball back with 2.11 to play. That was the first Personal foul called against Jack Feltovic. Not a lot of fouls in this game either, which has been good. Jack getting the explanation from official Corey Dion why uh, he was called for that infraction. Three, three team fouls this half against Hopkins. Ethan Mashon back out there now for the Hawks. Richter gets it back to Mashon at a high post. They work at left side. Robinson's going to take another three. He's going to make another three. Now he's heating up. It's a good thing to see because he's been frustrated the last couple games. 33-31. Hopkins now by two again. Tudrin on the right side being pestered by Robinson. Playing tough D. And get it away. Shot clock down to 12. Earl, top of the key. Gets bumped. Tudrin has it now. Shot clock down to seven. A little bit of trouble. Tudrin. Tudrin's going to right baseline. Two seconds to shoot. And with the shot clock about to expire, they did get a shot off by Feltovic, but it was no good. And back quickly comes the Red Hawks with a chance to tie or take their first lead of the night. 
Richter, he'll drive the lane for the tie, no good. Rebound, and that's gonna be a traveling foul as Peter Carey got the rebound, but he fell down with the basketball. Yeah, Carey's getting knocked around pretty good down low. That time, definitely a travel. After just a brief break on the bench, Hopkins Academy is going to get Siagla right back out there. And Pfeiffer also checked back in. Earl for three from the left corner. That shot is no good. Carey skies for the rebound. Outlet pass on the left to Bashan. Ethan runs it up, gets it to Robinson. Back to Bashan, head of the circle. Under a minute to play here on the quarter. Frontier trails by two. Robinson for three in the lead. Good! Hot hand, hot hand. Play the hot hand. Frontier, first lead of the night, 34-33. 35 seconds left here in the third. Great Tudrin kicks it right side. They go into the corner. Mahalik's going to take a three. That shot is no good. Tip down. Get to Peter Carey. Get it to B-Rob right now, I'd say. <laughs> I mean, he can't miss. He can't miss right now. Shot clock is off. 15 seconds on the game clock. Frontier with the ball. They lead by one. Mashawn backs it out. Now takes it in, top of the key. Gets it to Robinson. They go to Peter Curry. Nice pass down low. Richter, left baseline, yes! And that is how the third quarter will end. End of three, Goodno Gymnasium, South Deerfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now the Frontier Red Hawks, 36. The Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks, 33. Fourth quarter action next on Bear Country, 95.3. All right, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter underway here in South Deerfield. Ethan Mashan is going to drive through for Frontier. Went for the bank. That is no good. And a foul on Frontier. They're going to get Peter Carey coming over the back of Ryan Antis on that Carey, rebound. It was either Carey or Boudreaux. Oh, it was Boudreaux. on Boudreaux, yeah. Not Carey, sorry. That's significant sorry, because yeah. that would have been a three on Carey. That would have been three on uh, Peter Carey. So Hopkins with the ball. Frontier dominant in that third quarter. They now lead by three points. And Robinson, what a third quarter he had. Now Siagla throws it away. Robinson has it now. Ooh. Yep. And now they're going to a double dribble. And he hesitated. He was open. He thought about taking a three. And he thought, am I getting too greedy here? Well, it's good to see him shooting with confidence because he's had a rough couple of games. But nope. Oh, high pass. Antis is going to try to save it. No can do. Out of bounds. And Frontier will get the ball back. So kind of an ugly start to the quarter. And Adam Ginsburg says let's put a stop to this right now we'll take a quick 30 second break 728 to play here in the fourth quarter and on the greenfield savings bank scoreboard it's frontier 36 hopkins 33 on bear country 95.3 tonight's game brought to you by triton automotive muffins general market alber hearing services greenfield savings bank and the sunderland animal hospital we have uh most of the fourth quarter yet to play a minute ago, we played the Helena Chemical commercial, the uh, player of the game. And it's going to be hard not to give it to Robinson. But again, we have a, just about a whole quarter to go here. And the outcome still very much in doubt. Frontier with the ball after that turnover. They lead by three. Richter, top of the key. Sean, sealed off top of the key. Looking to dump it down low. Bounce pass, Peter Carey. Robinson for three. That one is short. Rebound comes out to Colin Boudreaux, gets it over to Siaglo. Coming all the way through, Braden Tudrin, a little finger roll action. Ended up on his back. And it, now too. a steal by Siaglo, turn, shoots an air ball, but Tudrin gets the weak side rebound. Over to Earl, Siaglo has been very cold since the first quarter. Tudrin though, hits a three from the left side. The wheels are coming off the wagon here a little bit. Hopkins reclaims the lead, it's 38-36. What a weird game it's been. Peter Curie in the paint, had it, lost it, goes to the floor, comes down to Hopkins Academy. Siaglo to the line, to the lane, kicks it left side. Tudrin spots up for three again. That one is no good. Curie clears the board. Gets over to Ethan Michon and 
Ben Barshevsky said, let's calm it down. Let's do what we did in that third quarter to get the lead. Robinson, deep on the right side. Peter Carey, nice backdoor pass. Colin Boudreau banks it in. Beautiful little give and go there. We are tied at 38, six minutes to play. Siaglo, top of the key. Pfeiffer for the free throw line, a reach in foul, a shoving foul actually is gonna go against Colin Boudreau, that's his second. Didn't look like he shoved him, but he definitely, definitely got some body on him. Robinson will check out. Not for long. Ethan Michon will check out. They're gonna get Hineski back in there, and Donovan Huffman is back out there for the Red Hawks. And they throw it in to Earl, right side to Siaglo. Andrew Siaglo, top of the key. Again, got off to a great start in the first half. It's been very silent since then. Braden Tudrin with a bad miss, but Mahalik gets the rebound. Three point shot put up by Earl in and out, no good. And a foul on Hopkins as they filled the lane. We'll see who got the ticket. Fourth team foul and the second personal called uh, against Mahalik. 5.39 to play. We are tied at 38. It was all Hopkins in the first quarter, all Frontier in the third. And stepping on the baseline left was Donovan Hopkins. That's a turnover, unforced turnover. Great Tudrin checks out, and Colin Earl is back in there for Hopkins Academy. Five and a half to play, tie game. Waldron just checked in on the left side. Well, there is Pfeiffer, high pass over, deep between the circles. And uh, reach and foul is going to be called against Frontier. It's gonna be Hoffman, I think they're gonna yep. get. I think they've got Donovan. Foul's starting to pile up though. No, uh, not near the, sh the uh, bonus yet. That's two on Dehoff. And each team has committed four team fouls this half. Siaglo, head of the circle. On the right side, Earl trying to Three penetrate. Off. Hoffman got beat off the dribble, and yeah, he didn't get his feet planted. And that's three. Ben Barshevsky will leave him out there for now. I mean, we're down to 5.06 to play. I mean, if it's third quarter, yeah, you yank him. But he's a veteran. Waldron, deep on the left. Mahalik top of the key, throws on the right side to Earl. Earl, back to uh, a three-point bomb put up, no good, by Pfeiffer, rebound to Carey again. He's had a quiet offensive night, but he's racking up the rebounds. Richter, that was partially blocked, and Carey went for the bank, no good. And it comes back down now to the Hawks. Peter Carey again, a little frustrated offensively. He's not getting a lot of touches, and when he does, he's not able to get it done. Here comes Waldron, and they're getting with a Travel, nice deed there by Colin Boudreaux. Brayden Tudrin will check back in for Hopkins and Mahalik will check out. Well, it's uh, lit on the basket for both teams right now. We're down to 4.28 to play in the basketball game where we remain tied at 38. Coming through, Donovan Hoffman. Sealed off, looking to get rid of it. Finally does to Richter, right side Peter Carey. Holds there, Hineski has it on the wing. Shot clock at 15, Richter. Top of the key, right of the lane, throws up an off balance shot, that is no good. Rebound Peter Curie, back to Hineski, 4-3, no good. Another offensive rebound by Frontier. Right side, Richter for a tray, that one is no good. Ugh. These teams have gone ice cold here, Chris. We remain tied at 38. When are we gonna get some points? Not there, <laughs> Earl missed from the free throw line. What's going on here? I don't know. A lid on both baskets. Well, Robinson's getting set to check back in. He was white hot, not red hot. He was white hot in that third quarter. Hineski throws up an air ball. Oh, this is really not looking too good at all. Well, that's really not Hineski's shot. He got he got the daylight for it, but that's you don't often see him do that. He usually kicks it out, but. Richter out, and Robinson back in, and uh, also checking into the frontier lineup is Ethan Mashani. 3.37 to play in the basketball game. We remain tied at 38. Maybe we're gonna play some extra here. Would not be surprised. 
On the right side, coming through. Earl, the leaner, that is short, another miss. Another one and done for Hopkins. Ethan Bashan runs it up on the right, stops on the wing. Colin Boudreau, they go left side, Donovan Hoffman looking for the cutter, no one there. Top of the key, Bashan for three, and that is short. Offensive rebound, that shot is no good as well. Bizarre. And we remain tied at 38. Siagla coming through is Tudrin. That shot is partially blocked, a whistle foul. Carey got the block, the foul though I believe is on someone else. Yes, it is. Is it on Robinson? No, it's on Carey. It is on Carey, so that is three on him, but again, down to 2.56 to play, so not a huge issue. Timeout on the floor taken by Frontier. 2.56 left to play in regulation. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier and Hopkins tied at 38. This is Bear Country, 95.3. It's weird to see two teams this talented shooting 5-2 in the fourth quarter yeah. with three minutes left. I mean, literally five points to two. Well, a chance now for two the easy way for Brayton Tudrin. He will go the line shooting at two. Maybe it's the temperature in the gym. I noted how cold <laughs> it is in here today. It's freezing. <laughs> and the first free throw is good. And finally, for the first time in over three minutes, we have a point. 39-38 Hopkins. One more for Braden Tudrin. Second one he is on the way. And that one is good as well. Hopkins. 40, Frontier 38, 253 to play in regulation. Robinson was hot in the third, sat for a while here in the fourth. Donovan Hoffman, it's a down low walker, it's nice dish to Peter Carey, power move goes up, misses, tipped out of bounds. Hopkins Academy basketball, the Frontier crowd saying Ooh, what? I don't know. There was a lot of gold over there, Chris. A Meaning Hopkins, a yeah. lot of gold, wow. All right, Corey Dion, though, says definitely Golden Hawks basketball. Down low, Ryan Antes goes up off the window, just spun out of no good. Frontier looks to run. Robinson stops on the wing. Good job defensively by Hopkins getting back. Robinson, top of the key. He'll take a three. It's good! Four threes in this half. 18 points on the night. 41-40. Frontier by one. That's a kick. So that'll be a reset. New shot clock for Hopkins. We're down to 2.09 to play. Frontier by one. Siaglo, he's been among those who have been very, very cold from the first quarter on. He got off to a great start. He has no points in this half. Yeah. He was filling it up early on, but he's very dangerous. He's gonna go right baseline right here. Feeds it over to Antis. They go left side to Tudrin. Shot clock down to 10. Behind the back pass. Three-pointer put up. Spun out no good. And Siaglo's struggles continue. Frontier by one. 140 to play. Siaglo going for the steal. Couldn't get it away from Mashan. Throw it down low. Whistle and a foul. And that is going to go against Pfeiffer. He pats his chest as if to say, yep, that was on me. He got Beaten off the ball. Well, it's his. a good thing he did it, actually, because otherwise Peter Carey had a free lane to the basket. Yep, and he would have flushed it for sure. Another timeout that's taken this time by Hopkins Academy. One minute, 32 seconds left to play in regulation. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 41, Hopkins Academy 40. 30-second break back after this. Bear Country 95.3. Two goes. Frontier with the ball with a new shot clock. They lead by one. Every possession critical now. Peter Carey wide open from 18. That shot is no good. Ethan Michon hits from the right side and a foul on the rebound. Ethan Michon picked a good time for his first two points of the game. Camped on the baseline with Dehoff. Count it one. And he got bumped. He got bumped in that foul. That's Siaglo's first yeah. foul, believe it or not, in the, in the fourth quarter. Andrew Siaglo, he plays that tough D, but picked up the foul, the free throw, in and out, no good. So it remains a one possession game. We're gonna talk about this free throw shooting again on the post game show, because there's gonna be a night, hopefully not in the postseason, when it's gonna cost Frontier a game. Well, it cost them a game last night, I think. Yeah, you just, they need to lock that up. I mean, nobody's expecting 90% shooting, but come on, guys. Tudrin, shuffle pass. Nope, turn, shoots, went for the bank, no good. 
Rebound run down by Carey. A minute to play. Frontier by three. Huge possession here. It could make it a two possession game with a make. Mashan had a big bucket a moment ago from the foul line. Gets it to Carey. Peter stripped of the ball. Siaglo comes up with the steal. Frontier leads by three. Siaglo for three and the tie. It's good. <laughs> He has struggled immensely in the second, third, and fourth quarters, but a big shot, and we're tied. 30 seconds left to play in the game. Robinson has it. Here comes Hoffman going right side. Sealed off, shot clock at 18. Game clock at 27, tied at 43. Mashan, Hoffman, top of the key. Crowd into it, 10 seconds to shoot. Hoffman, right of the lane, comes through. Rejected out of bounds by Yentes. Frontier will keep it, seven seconds on the shot clock and Frontier's gonna get Colin Boudreau in there. Walkowitz will check out. And timeout on the floor. Most of the crowd standing. We could have a fantastic finish. 16.4 seconds left. The shot clock is at seven. It'll be Frontier ball tied at 43 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. All right, time to do a game reset here. We're tied at 43, it'll be Frontier possession. Seven seconds on the shot clock, 16.7 on the game clock. The possession arrow favors Hopkins Academy, so if there's a, a tie up, a held ball, the Golden Hawks will get it. Each team has six team fouls this half, so one more, and we'll be into the one and one. And don't forget, you got two guys on Hopkins that can shoot NBA threes like like their free throws. Donovan Hoffman will inbound on the baseline. Frontier, again, only seven seconds on the shot clock. They get it in. Boudreaux was wide open. Went for the bank. It's good. 45-43 Frontier. Ten seconds left. Shot clock is off. Siaglo runs it up. Timeout called by Hopkins Academy. We're going to keep it right here. <laughs> Huge bucket by Colin Boudreaux. He was wide open on the inbound. He was almost too open. But that was a big bucket by Colin Boudreau. Now the, the thing is, what you got to do, a three wins it. So you got to keep a close eye on Earl. You got to keep a very close eye on Siaglo. Because he can throw it up. He's shown it already tonight. He can throw it up from NBA land. And here's the thing, Chris. Hopkins probably is designing a play for the tie. Maybe on the road you go for the win. But we see it on all levels of basketball. Whatever play they're drawing up, it could break down and some guy could just fling it up for the three and the win. So this is gonna be very interesting what they have drawn up. Ginsburg has got his guys down there. Ben Barshevsky huddled with his guys. They need to D up one more time and get the win. Tough loss last night. Again, they dug that early hole, nearly came all the way back. So they were frustrated. That would have been a nice non-league win against a tough Berkshire County opponent. Did not happen. Now they're back in league play. Then they came out very listless. They were down by 14 points at one point. Got to lock this down. Got to lock this down. This will be a huge win and a big bounce back win. All right, 7.2 seconds left. Frontier 45, Hopkins 43. Earl will inbound right in front of his bench, being guarded there. And now Ben Barshevsky is going to call a timeout. Well, he, I, wanted I, to see what, he wanted to see what kind of... Uh, set they came out in. Yeah, Ben didn't like what he saw. That's a smart timeout. And now we'll go back and we'll reset everything. We could be playing extra time here. The last few minutes of this game are taking a long time, but it, that means it was a close game. If it wasn't a close game, we would already be out of here. But these teams, they went through a long stretch here in the fourth quarter with no one scoring. Remember, it was 38 all for over three minutes of game time. It's and almost like nobody wanted to win. Yeah, it's like who, <laughs> <laughs> who wants the W because it's right there for you guys. And finally, finally, uh, some free throws by Tudrin of Hopkins got them going. And then Frontier got their offense going again. All right. They come back out again. Here's the deal. If there's a held ball, it'll go to Hopkins. Frontier 45, Hopkins 43, 7.2 seconds left. The inbound the ball to Tudrin. Center court circle. Five seconds left. Had it poked away. Two seconds. One. Let's it fly at the buzzer. No good. Frontier gets the win. Well, Donovan Hoffman, credit him for 
If Donovan Hoffman doesn't make that poke and nearly steal it, they had they had Siago all alone on the right elbow. They never got the ball to him. Tudrin had no choice but to fire up a desperation three at the buzzer. It was no good. And Frontier comes from behind to win it. Our final score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the Frontier Red Hawks 45, the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks 43. Post game show coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Post game show here on Bear Country 95.3. Frontier with a thrilling 45-43 victory over Hawkins Academy here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. Well, you know, there were stretches when it uh, was a little rough to watch, but uh, good show put on by uh, the guys on both sides. And Hopkins certainly had got some things done, but uh, I got a feel they're thinking, man, we had a chance to go on the road at Frontier, a quality opponent, get a big road win, and they were unable to finish. Well, they were running them out of the building in the first quarter, and then again, Frontier hung around, came back, and then that fourth quarter was just bizarre. I mean, neither team, it seemed, wanted to win that game. There was a lid on both buckets, but... You know, great second half performance by Brett Robinson. He ends up with 18 points, all 16 of them in the second half, and four threes. And it's great to see because Brett Robinson has been frustrated the last couple of times I've seen him. He just has not had the three falling for him, and tonight it fell at the absolute right time. Uh, also, solid performance inside by Colin Boudreaux, Owen Walkowitz. But this is a very good Hopkins team. Andrus Yaglo, a solid performance. Second half, though, he wasn't really, did not really score, but put up a big three to basically bring them to within a tie uh, at the very late stages of that fourth quarter. Colin Earl was strong as well and uh, just a solid performance and, and Brendan, Braden Tudrin as well in the second half came up strong but the Frontier Redhawks I think as I've said before, defense spurs their offense. They tightened up the D and that's what it took to get them back and got, they got a big W out of it. Easy call for hell on a chemical player of the game. Brett Robinson uh, just raining threes here tonight brought them energy. When they were listless, he was the one guy that wasn't listless. He was the guy that said, I I'm playing some basketball tonight. Thank God for that because if not, they do not get that, that well, victory. What's great about what Brett Robinson did was, you know, he, he hit the threes, and we'll talk about the threes, four threes in the second half. But in the first quarter, when the three was being shut down, I mean, keep in mind, Hopkins defended the three very, very well. They shut down that part of the game, so what did Frontier do? They went inside. They did some give and goes. They fed the baseline, and Robinson had a couple of buckets right there on the baseline, which is not where he plays. He plays outside of the arc, and he was able to switch his game up when he needed to and brought them some quality points and quality minutes. And I, I can't say enough about the big three in the middle. Uh, Peter Carey did not have his best performance today, but Boudreaux had him at his back. Walkowitz was solid. Yep. So I think uh, good inside-out performance. And tight D and Frontier comes away with a two-point win. Well, Chris, this is a team, Frontier, that is eight and three. They're well on the way to the postseason. They have the talent and the depth to make a nice postseason run. However, there are some concerning things, a pattern of missed free throws and a pattern of slow starts. Uh, something will have to shift. We're, we're kind of edging closer towards February now. The tournament's not that far off. They, they need to get some things uh, locked down by the time we get uh, to the postseason, or they may not go as deep as they may think they could. Well, it doesn't get any easier. They've got Pioneer in this building on Thursday night, and Pioneer just beat Greenfield. So, I mean, that's not going to be an easy game. And certainly, you know, we've seen that they can play with the best in the Berkshires, and that's a good thing. But in this league, you know, every given, every night, there's a lot of parody, and every night you never know what's going to happen from, from night to night. 
They cannot come out and spot 10 to 12 point leads in the first quarter and expect to win against good teams. They won tonight because their defense picked up in the end, also because Hopkins shooting went cold. If Hopkins heats up in that fourth quarter and shoots, they lose by 10. And that's the fact, and that's something that Ben Barashevsky has got to, to hammer into these guys. Start strong, make your throws, and make sure you play tight defense. Final score one more time here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The Frontier Red Hawks 43, the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks 43. For Chris Collins and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Trill. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight and have a great night in bear country, everyone.